guys, it's Jack from ZHDX Minecraft is here with a uh, quick tutorial, this one being how to install the Minecraft Comes Alive mod. First thing you want to do is back up your Minecraft and uh, if you don't know exactly what that is, you know, just copy and paste it onto your desktop. But as you can see, I'm doing this from a fresh Minecraft. As you see, Minecraft.jar, no file or anything, you'll know that if you're a modder. But, uh let's get straight on with this tutorial you want to open up your browser and go to the link i put in the description or search for mod loader and i know i just said modler uh that was just me being a retard uh, there we go mod loader 1.2.5 rizigami's mods everything updated you just want to click on that and then you just want to scroll down past all this until you reach the mods <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to click that one, but you can click download AdFly. Probably going to get a bit of hate for that, but we all know without Mod Loader, we and Rizigami, we wouldn't have Minecraft modding as it is. Now I'm just going to drag that to there. Now I know mine says minus four next to it, it's because it's the fourth one I've downloaded because I've been very dopey in other recordings. But what we're going to do, open that Mod Loader file, click Command N to open a new window. And then on your name, so you could have it like that or like that or like that. I usually I'd prefer to have it like this, but you go to your name, library, application support, and you can in fact highlight Minecraft. That's what I usually do. And then you're going to go to bin. Now you see this Minecraft.jar. What you're going to do is you are going to go open with. You can either use the unarchive, uh, the unarchiver, which is what I use. That's a great, fast, free software, guys, just by the way. Or archive utility, that comes default on the Mac. I'm just going to use archive utility. But as you can see, it says minecraft2.jar. Now you want to um, get the actual jar, just drag it to the trash. Then you want to rename minecraft2.jar to minecraft.jar. Because without this, your game would not be able to run. Now, double-click that. And you have all these files but we're interested in one so you want to type in met and you get this thing meta um slash inf drag that to the trash otherwise it will not work now go to your mod loader command a command c command v and then uh, this is just copying it so you click apply to all replace now as you guys know i like to be quite thorough and so I'm going to boot up my Minecraft just to show you everything's in working order as we go along. See, as you can see, it all works. Now, it should have given you these files, mods and modloader.txt. So that means it, it worked properly if you've got mods and that. So uh, we can get straight on with this. You go back to your web browser. You should have probably kept it open. I just closed it. But you're going to type in Minecraft. I did that again. Sorry, I'm quite, ti uh, quite tired. Um, I just woke up. Okay, but you want to type in Minecraft Comes Alive because this is obviously the mod you want to install. And as you can see, you have this top link, Minecraft Comes Alive V1.3.7. Um, Multi-language, blah, 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 blah. Then you're going to scroll down, just wait for the page to load, and you're going to scroll down past all of this, all of this, all the videos, and then stop when you start to see this writing because you're quite close. Then it says uh, change log, blah blah blah, help wanted, known bugs and fixes, and then you're going to go down to downloads, and then obviously it says Mac, blah 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 blah, but um, MCA for 1.2.5. You're just gonna click that, and then you're gonna get sent to AdFly. Then you. <coughs> <coughs> I'm very sorry, guys. I don't feel very well today. All right, you're just gonna click Skip Ad, Open with, and it just says Unarchiving. Now. I'm just going to drag this to there, and usually it says Minecraft comes alive without the little 2 bit at the end, so I can just delete that. But um, once you open it, it's quite straightforward, it has three folders, 
place contents in config, minecraft.jar and mods folder. Now, if we do this uh, categorically, we're going to go to the config folder. I have all this stuff, but don't worry, you shouldn't. And it was from a fresh one, but unfortunately I forgot to delete all the config files, so just don't worry about any of this. And you're just going to grab this file, command C, command V. Just copy and paste the whole folder into it, um, because it contains lots of subfolders. Like, see, look, dialogue, English, family, stuff like that. Um, so just leave those alone, that's all you have to do. Then uh, place contents in Minecraft.jar is a uh, quite a simple one. You just go to your Minecraft bin dot jar, command A, command C, command V, apply to all and replace. And the last one in the mods folder, you just go to your Minecraft folder mods and then you just um, copy this zip straight in there as you can see. So, uh, you just go to Minecraft, just to prove that this works. I'm just going to go full screen. Obviously, you're going to log in. Blah, 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 Mojang screen. It's going to take a little bit more time because you just installed a mod. Then you got to go single player. Or oh, it doesn't work on most, most player things. So, we're just going to name it, uh, Mod Spotlight or something. I know it's not a mod spotlight, it's in, uh, a tutorial installation. But as you can see, building terrain, building terrain, building terrain, building, building, more building, keep building. <laughs> Sim simulating the world for a bit and saving chunks. Now we're just going to have to wait whilst it does this because Minecraft is quite slow at saving its chunks. Mmm, tasty. Now, as you can see, Minecraft comes live set up. Just choose your gender, male or female. And now, a good thing is, is you can change your name. So I have this very lengthy ZZ long shot, so I'm just going to change it to Jack. That's simple. But uh, you get many features with it. I'm not going to show you now, because I want you to be able to explore with it. Just have a laugh with it. But if I were you, I'd try to find a village or a seed with a village in it. And that's it for the tutorial, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.